For the first time in nearly 40 years, the world's largest active volcano, Mauna Loa, is erupting on Hawaii's big island. Right now, lava is flowing down the mountain, but we're told it's not putting anyone in danger at this point. But an ashfall advisory is in effect and shelters are open. Let's bring in meteorologist Tom Sater. Tom, this volcano is so large, it covers half the island. But lava isn't so much yeah. the concern, it's the air. So help us understand. Right. Uh, back in 2010, a volcano in Iceland erupted on it. I'm sure you remember this. It's known for shutting down the world. Uh, the volcanic ash in the eruption shuts down airspace. You can't uh, fly in it. So for a couple of weeks in Europe, there were no flights. Now, we don't have that problem yet unless we have another eruption. So just to get your bearings straight, here's Honolulu well to the northwest. Here's the big island. Notice shaded in gray. That is the ash fall advisory. It's been extended till 10 a.m. because of the ash. And it's, it can be toxic. When it rains, uh, it can be very acidic. Uh, it will damage the crops. Livestock, unfortunately, will be harmed with this. Let's take a Google image of this. You can actually see the past uh, lava scars here in the center. But this is the outline of Mauna Loa. So, yes, the largest volcano on our planet woke up this morning, and we do have some concerns. Now, scientists, local scientists, uh, volcanists, they've been watching this since June and monitoring the activity. This is the caldera, all right, when you get to the peak. Now, what I'm going to outline here for you, this is the lava that has been building upwards, all right? So the pressure is building. Uh, when you have that, obviously, you're going to have to release that pressure. It can be from an eruption, or sometimes we have these fissures around the sides. It's like uh, steam vents, and sometimes they can erupt, and you'll see a collapse on the volcano. But notice all the burn scars. You go back to 1843, between 1843 and 1950, on average, Mauna Loa would erupt every three and a half years, like clockwork. From 1850 to today, it's five years. And the reason for that is it just went through the, the quietest period in history of 38 years, 1984. Hawaiian Ocean View Estates, well down to the southwest. Now, when we look at the images of this, this is the caldera, infrared image. So again, they've been uh, monitoring this. They took a flight over this morning. Here's a satellite imagery. Look where Hilo is. That's a concern because when that volcanic ash slides over a community, obviously it can be toxic. So authorities are saying wear a mask. And again, uh, the land around volcanoes is the most fertile in the world. So that's why farmers work this. So that's a concern for farmers right now and their livestock. Right now we are seeing some lava flows, but it's confined to the peak. Remember Kilauea. Uh, just 2018, dramatic images of the lava flows coming through the communities, scorching homes across roadways, making its way eventually to the ocean waters. But again, this is video of that scene from this morning. So yes, we still have pressure building on them. Uh, there could be another eruption, but right now the advisory only till 10 locally because we haven't seen a massive eruption. But again, when you look at the activity, this is all earthquakes and they've been watching and it's really been picking up in intensity. And you'll see it really get yellow with the eruption early this morning. So. Again, largest volcano waking up at least slowly. Yeah, slowly and, and, waking and up. And those like images are really something. Yeah, I feel that way, yes. especially after Thanksgiving. Yeah. I think I'm still trying to shake yeah. myself from my food coma. Right. Tom Sater, thank you so much.